Oh, God is so good. God is just so good. God is just so amazing. Today is amazing. You woke up today. That is amazing. Just think some people didn't wake up today. They didn't have their eyes open. They may be in heaven with the most high, but you actually have life today. And you can't take that for granted. It would be crazy if you took that for granted. So I just have to remind you that God is so good. And you have to wake up with that exact same spirit. God is so good. I love my God. I love the most high. And yes, too, Jesus loves me. Okay? So even if you have to take it back to nursery rhyme school, nursery rhyme school today, dust off your Bibles. If you are watching this video... You must have done something right. You must have done something right because I'm sure that earlier you went through a time and you were kind of, you know, really unmotivated about something in your life. But if you stumbled across this video, then you know what? The Most High just said, I need you to get a message. And you may, at that time, you didn't know maybe who that message would be from. But if you're watching this video, oh, praise God. God is so good. The fact that you're watching this message at home, it just means it means the world to the most high. Because you're coming closer to the most high. And not only are you coming closer to the most high, you're coming closer to your inner joy. You know, your inner light. We can look. You look at the news and it's just so much going on in the news right now. We need more love. We need more strength. We, we need more courage. We need more good people. We need people like you tapping into God's word day in and day out. Because it's easy to fall, to fall to the wayside and become somber in times like this. But regardless of what, we know that the Most High is there for us. And we know that he loves us. You can tell the Most High, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, and he'll never get tired of hearing it. A lot of times you tell other folks, or you'll tell man, I love you, and they take it for granted. Clearly that's a person that's not connected with the Most High, but the fact that you already know that, and the fact that you've received that message, and the fact that you just received that connection, just know that you never have to turn your back on the Most High because he's always there for you. I want you to dust the, to take the dust off your Bible, open it up, and I want you to go to Psalm 31. I woke up this morning, and I don't know, it's just, this scripture just, it touched my heart. Something, it just touched my heart, it woke me up, took a nice long stretch. I had my Bible on my nightstand. I didn't really know what exactly I would read, but this is where, this is where the book fell. Okay, so you listen and, and, and you, just, you just take this in. Don't think about anything else. We're just going to feast and we're going to marinate. <laughs> we're going to feast and marinate, marinate on this word right here. The everlasting word that our Father has given us. And this is the scripture that illuminated to me this morning. Oh, love the Lord, all you his saints. For the Lord preserves the faithful. Isn't that amazing? The Lord preserves the faithful. And fully repays the proud person. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. All you who hope in the Lord. And a lot of times, like I said, you look at the news and it's like it's just so much going on. We need more. We need more love. We need more courage. We need people who love the Most High, banding together in unity. This is the time to band together in unity and to make it so that this message spreads exponentially all across the globe. I mean, think about our soldiers. Talk about being of good courage. You wake up, you take for granted the men that are on the battlefield, weathering the storm on the battlefield for, for us, for our freedom. I know my grandmother would tell me stories all the time about her father when he, you know, when he served in battle. And it can put a lot of strain on family life and on family relationships. You know, you have moms that lose their lives to war. You have dads that are losing their lives.
us to war, but they went out there and they fought for us and they believed and they had excellent courage and they hoped in the Lord. And even for our soldiers who are, who are, still, who are still there are not at home, it's like, I'm praying for you. And as you know, all of my spiritual partners, I pray for you every single day. I've devoted my entire life towards doing good and we need more of that. We need more of that. So you make sure that if you're on the side of doing good and if you're on the side of changing the world for the better, then you connect with this message and you connect with the Most High because He's never going to let us down. And you make sure that you give and you contribute so that this message, message spreads exponentially all over the globe. So aside from our soldiers, I mean, in terms of good courage and hope, there's a lot of people today that actually um, receive news from the doctor that they, that they have cancer. I have family members who have had cancer too. And it's like initially at that moment, you say, what am I going to do? You know, my mom or my dad or my aunt or my cousin or even my baby girl, my, my daughter, I've just received the news that they have cancer. You realize, you come to realize that all the things that you thought that mattered, they really don't matter. The emphasis on clothes, the emphasis on jewelry, the emphasis on cars, the emphasis on material things that maybe only provide um, uh, they only provide, you know, they don't, let me put it like this, they don't provide everlasting joy in times of trouble and in times of suffering and in times of just loneliness and doubt and fear and when we need healing. Those things can't provide you with good healing. They essentially, they can't. Maybe short-term happiness, but this is the time when we come together and we tap into the Most High's Word. And we pray to him. We pray to him, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for waking me up. And although either myself or my loved one may have received the news that um, cancer is in my body, I pray that you exterminate this cancer from me, dear God. And I'm going to always show you my love. And I'm going to continue to pray for you. And I'm going to continue to make sure that your message spreads so that not only I know that you're here for me, but that other people know that you're here for me. So that's the scripture that touched my heart, you know, Psalm 31. And I just have to read it again. I just have to read it again. I look at every time I'm talking about the Most High, every time I'm talking about the scriptures and the word, it's a celebration. People celebrate a lot of different things. They'll celebrate things that won't get them to heaven anyway. So why not celebrate the Most High? Because every single time... You tap into this word, you feast on this word, you marinate on this word. It's a celebration. And I want to present, I know for me, I want to present myself to the Most High um, in excellence every single time. Because that's what he deserves. The law of reciprocity, right? You reap what you sow. You reap good, you give to the Most High, you give to his kingdom you're going to see things in your life unfold that you never even thought would unfold. And let's just, let's just bring it home once again. Oh, love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful. And he fully repays the proud person. See, we just talked about the law of reciprocity. We know that the Lord tells us you reap what you sow. You reap good, you're gonna sow good. You give well, you're gonna you're gonna you're, you're gonna receive even more. You give one, you're gonna receive one million. Okay? So the Lord fully repays the proud person. Praise his name. Tell him how much you love him every single day. And be of good courage. Okay? So be of good courage. The Lord already knows that you're gonna experience trouble and hardship and pain. But we're believers of him. And we set examples. For everybody all across the globe, we set examples. And that those are big shoes to fill. But we've been blessed to fulfill that. So all you can do is smile. 
So be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart, right? There are times when we, you want to give up. There are times when you want to say, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just lost my job. If you hear voices in the background, don't worry. God's word is, is all throughout this house and people are really happy. Everyone walking around here is happy, but it doesn't matter because I'm coming to you and I need you to hear this message and feast on this. Feast on this with me. So be of good courage, yeah. You're going to go through hard times, but be of good courage. Feel the fear and do it anyway, especially when it comes time to proclaim your love and your dedication to the Most High. If it just so happens that you're a college student, and people want you to, to get down and dirty things that you know the Most High wouldn't agree with, don't be afraid to stand up. Don't be afraid to stand up. Have courage in that situation because who knows what could happen if you deviate from, you, from what you know the Most High may want you to do it that night. Stay strong and stay positive and surround yourself with groups of people who don't mind it when you have courage to stand up for the right things. That's invaluable. That's what the Most High wants us to do. So be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. You'll get better and better. You'll build up that muscle with time. You'll know you'll be able to instantly spot, you know what, this person isn't good for me. This person is not going to make it so that I'll be able to strengthen my heart. This person may lead me to more vices. I can't have that in my life. Lord, strengthen your heart for all you who hope in the Lord. All you who hope in the Lord. And Jesus, just to let you know, Jesus is coming. And when Jesus comes, we want to make sure that we are ready. Okay? So what does that mean? We support Jesus in everything. We support Jesus and his Father in everything that we do. In our speech. In our time. What we devote our time to. Okay? Every way that we can, we should be supporting Jesus and his kingdom. So don't, don't give to the kingdom. Because I'm telling you to do it. You have to, you have to have that in yourself. You have to have that in your heart. You have to already believe in him and, and know his power and know his glory. Give because you truly mean it. And you truly want me, you truly believe that this message needs to be spread everywhere for souls everywhere. Ah, well, that was a wonderful scripture. That was a wonderful teaching and an amazing lesson that you just had. God bless you. I love you, and never forget that God is just so good. Bye now, and I'll see you next time.